A blessed day, dear learners. Prepare yourselves for an exciting educational adventure in this video. Today, we are delving into the captivating lesson on document authentication and verification, methods, standards, and future trends. Please ensure your safety, and may you always be blessed. Welcome to the Teacher Lumaban YouTube channel. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 What is one traditional method of document authentication involving physical documents? A. Biometric authentication B. QR codes and barcodes C. Watermarks and security features D. Blockchain technology Which technique involves comparing signatures on documents to known authentic signatures for verification? A. Biometric authentication B. QR codes and barcodes C. Signature verification D. Blockchain technology What digital method uses fingerprints, facial recognition, and iris scans for document authentication? A. Biometric authentication B. QR codes and barcodes C. Watermarks and security features D. Blockchain technology Which international standard is recommended for security printing management in document production? A. ISO slash IEC 27001 B. ISO 14298 C. Public Key Infrastructure, PKI D. Interpol How does blockchain technology contribute to document verification? A. By comparing signatures. B. By using watermarks. C. By ensuring decentralization and tamper resistance. D. By implementing QR codes. Please compare your selected answers with the answers listed in the answer key provided. If your chosen answer matches the one in the answer key, mark it as correct. After reviewing all the questions and answers, calculate your final score based on the number of correct answers. Point 3. How did you score? Did you achieve a high score? If yes, congratulations on a job well done. If not, don't worry. We will help you deepen your understanding through this video.
Document authentication and verification are critical processes across various domains, including legal, financial, immigration, and security. These processes are designed to ensure the legitimacy and integrity of documents, confirming their authenticity and guarding against tampering. With the increasing prevalence of digital documentation, traditional and technologically advanced methods for document authentication have emerged. Ang pagpapatutuo at pag-verify ng dokumento ay mga kritikal na proseso sa iba't ibang domain, kabilang ang legal, pinansyal, imigrasyon, at seguridad. Ang mga prosesong ito ay idinisenyo upang matiyak ang pagiging lihay timo at integridad ng mga dokumento na nagpapatunay sa kanilang pagiging tunay at nagbabantay laban sa pakikialam. Sa pagtaas ng paglaganap ng digital na dokumentasyon, ang tradisyonal at teknolohikal na advance ng mga pamamaraan para sa pagpapatunay ng dokumento ay lumitaw. Key Components of Document Authentication and Verification Mga pangunahing bahagi ng pagpapatunay at pag-verify ng dokumento Traditional Methods Mga tradisyonal na pamamaraan Watermarks and security features Physical documents often include watermarks, holograms, or other security features that are challenging to replicate. Mga watermark at mga feature ng seguridad Ang mga physical na dokumento ay kadalasang may kasamang mga watermark, hologram, o iba pang feature ng seguridad na mahirap kopyahin. Signature verification This involves comparing signatures on documents with known authentic signatures to confirm the document's legitimacy. Pagpapatunay ng lagda, ito ay nagsasangkot ng paghahambing ng mga lagda sa mga dokumento na may alam na tunay ng mga lagda upang kumpirmahin ang pagiging lihay timo ng dokumento. Digital Methods Mga digital na paraan Biometric authentication, utilizing various biometric data types, such as fingerprints, facial recognition, and iris scans, to confirm the identity of the document holder. Biometric authentication, paggamit ng iba't ibang uri ng biometric data, tulad ng mga fingerprint, pagkilala sa mukha, at pagscan ng iris, upang kumpirmahin ang pagkakakilanlan ng may hawak ng dokumento. Blockchain technology, employing blockchain for document verification ensures a decentralized and tamper-resistant method of storing and verifying information. Blockchain technology, ang paggamit ng blockchain para sa pag-verify ng dokumento ay nagsisiguro ng isang decentralisado at tamper-resistant na paraan ng pag-iimbak at pag-verify ng impormasyon. QR codes and barcodes, including machine-readable codes on documents that can be scanned for quick and accurate verification. Mga QR code at barcode, kabilang ang mga code na nababasa ng machine sa mga dokumento na maaaring i-scan para sa mabilis at tumpak na pag-verify. Document Security Standards Mga pamantayan sa seguridad ng dokumento Following international standards, such as ISO 14,278 for Security Printing Management or ISO IEC 27,100 for Information Security Management to enhance the security of document production and storage. Ang pagsunod sa mga internasyonal na pamantayan, tulad ng ISO 14,278 para sa pamamahala sa pagprint ng seguridad o ISO, IEC 27,100 para sa pamamahala ng seguridad ng impormasyon, upang mapahusay ang seguridad ng paggawa at pag-iimbak ng dokumento. Implementing document encryption techniques to secure digital documents and prevent unauthorized access or alterations. Pagpapatupad ng mga diskarte sa pag-encrypt ng dokumento upang masecure ang mga digital na dokumento at maiwasan ng hindi autorisadong pag-access o mga pagbabago. Government Initiatives Mga inisyatiba ng pamahalaan Some governments are adopting digital identification systems that use secure and verifiable digital documents, reducing reliance on physical copies. Ang ilang pamahalaan ay gumagamit ng mga digital identification system na gumagamit ng secure at naive verify ng mga digital na dokumento na binabawasan ng pag-asa sa mga physical na kopya. Implementing Public Key Infrastructure, PKI, for secure communication and ensuring the authenticity of digital documents. Pagpapatupad ng Public Key Infrastructure, PKI, para sa secure na komunikasyon at pagtiyak ng pagiging tunay ng mga digital na dokumento. Cross-border verification. Encouraging international cooperation between countries to establish shared databases and standards for cross-border document verification. Paghihikayat sa internasyonal na kooperasyon sa pagitan ng mga bansa na magtatag ng mga nakabahaging database at pamantayan para sa cross-border na pag-verify ng dokumento.
Leverage ang organizations such as Interpol and Europol, international law enforcement agencies that facilitate the exchange of information to verify documents and combat fraud. Nakikinabang sa mga organisasyon tulad ng Interpol at Europol, mga internasyonal na ahensyang nagpapatupad ng batas na nagpapadali sa pagpapalitan ng impormasyon upang i-verify ang mga dokumento at labanan ng pandaraya. Challenges and Future Trends Mga hamon na trends sa hinaharap Integrating Deep Learning and AI Algorithms for More Sophisticated Document Analysis and Fraud Detection Pagsasama ng malalim na pag-aaral at mga algorithm ng AI para sa mas sopistikadong pagsusuri ng dokumento at pagtuklas ng panluloko. Addressing challenges related to the interoperability of different systems to ensure seamless document verification across various platforms. Pagtugon sa mga hamon na nauugnay sa interoperability ng iba't ibang system upang matiyak ang tuloy-tuloy na pag-verify ng dokumento sa iba't ibang platform. Extending the use of blockchain for document verification in supply chain management to ensure the authenticity of shipping and trade documents. Pagpapalawak ng paggamit ng blockchain para sa pag-verify ng dokumento sa pamamahala ng supply chain upang matiyak ang pagiging tunay ng mga dokumento sa pagpapadala at kalakalan. In conclusion, document authentication and verification are dynamic fields that evolve to counter emerging threats and leverage technological advancements. These processes are essential for maintaining trust in various sectors and safeguarding against identity theft, fraud, and unauthorized access. Continuous research, collaboration, and adaptation to evolving standards are crucial for staying ahead in this ever-changing landscape. Sa conclusion, ang pagpapatutuo at pag-verify ng dokumento ay mga dynamic na field na umuunlad upang kontrahin ang mga umuusbong na banta at gamitin ang mga pagsulong sa teknolohiya. Ang mga prosesong ito ay mahalaga para sa pagpapanatili ng tiwala sa iba't ibang sektor at pag-iingat laban sa pagnanakaw ng pagkakakilanlan, pandaraya, at hindi awtorisadong pag-access. Ang patuloy na pagsasaliksik, pakikipagtulungan, at pag-angkop sa mga umuunlad na pamantayan ay mahalaga para manatiling nangunguna sa pabago-bagong tanawing ito. What government initiative aims to reduce reliance on physical copies through the use of digital identification systems? A. Public Key Infrastructure, PKI B. Interpol CISO 14298 D. Implementing Digital Identification Systems Which organization facilitates the exchange of information between international law enforcement agencies for document verification? A. Public Key Infrastructure, PKI B. Interpol CISO slash IEC 27001 D. Europol What is a common challenge in document verification that involves different systems? A. Lack of security features. B. Interoperability. C. Over-reliance on physical copies. D. Blockchain technology limitations. In the context of document security standards, what does ISO slash IEC 27001 focus on? A. Security Printing Management B. Information Security Management C. Document Encryption Techniques D. Interpol Initiatives
What technology is employed to ensure the authenticity of shipping and trade documents in supply chain management? A. Deep learning. B. QR codes and barcodes. C. Interpol. D. Blockchain technology. What is the purpose of implementing Public Key Infrastructure PKI, in government initiatives? A. Enhancing security printing management B. Establishing shared databases C. Ensuring the authenticity of digital documents D. Interoperability of systems What technology involves machine-readable codes on documents that can be scanned for quick verification? A. Biometric authentication B. Watermarks and security features C. QR codes and barcodes D. Signature verification How do governments use digital identification systems for document authentication? A. By implementing QR codes. B. By reducing reliance on physical copies. C. By comparing signatures. D. By using watermarks. What is the primary focus of international standards like ISO 14298 in document production? A. Information security management. B. Security printing management. C. Biometric authentication. D. Deep learning algorithms. What method involves the use of deep learning and AI algorithms for document analysis and fraud detection? A. Watermarks and security features. B. Interoperability. C. Biometric authentication. D. Deep learning algorithms. Please compare your selected answers with the answers listed in the answer key provided. If your chosen answer matches the one in the answer key, mark it as correct. After reviewing all the questions and answers, calculate your final score based on the number of correct answers. Point 3. How did you score? Did you achieve a high score? If so, congratulations on a job well done.
If not, don't worry. You can review this video to further enhance your understanding of the topic. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13 I hope you found our teacher Lumaban self-learning video enjoyable and informative. If you gained new knowledge from this video, we would greatly appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to share it with your friends. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We value your feedback. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We hope to see you again in our next video. May God bless you always. Welcome to the Teacher Lumaban YouTube channel.